Hello and welcome to the video by Trump Excel. I am Sumit Bansal and in this video I will show you how to use HLOOKUP function in Excel. HLOOKUP function is not as widely used as VLOOKUP or INDEX but it is a useful function when you have your data arranged horizontally as I have here in cell A2 to D4. Now let me show you how HLOOKUP function works. HLOOKUP function takes four arguments. The first one is the lookup value. Second is the table array where you want to look for the value. Third is the row index number, uh, the row number from where you want to fetch the value. And fourth is a range lookup where you're look, uh, looking for an exact match or an approximate match. Let me show you how this works. So I type apple as the lookup value. I'm, I'm typing it in here, but you can also select a cell reference if you have this value somewhere. Uh, the table array here is B2 to D4. As index number I give 2 so I tell it that you go and look for apple here in this uh, array and when you find that L that exact match apple then you go to the second row and fetch the value against apple and here I want an exact match so I would use false I can also type 0 manually and it would work the same and I hit control enter and this returns 10 because it was looking for Apple it searches this uh, top row and it finds Apple here so it goes to the second row in that array and fetches this value now let me show you what if I change the row number it's exactly the same how it works uh, I use lookup value as Apple uh, table array is this P2 to D4 row index number is 3 this time and instead of false I can also type 0 and I hit control enter and you can see it returns 5 which is in the third row now I have been using exact match and uh, the case with exact match is that if Excel does not find an exact match it would return an error so let me type uh, something which is not there in this array let me look for the alphabet B here in this table array and I say row index number as 3 and exact match 0 you can also type false or you can select it from the drop down and I hit control enter and you can see I have got an error here the reason is that this array does not have the alphabet B it has B here in banana but it's in a, a different word it's just not that alphabet so that is why I have got an error here if I change this to alphabet B you can see I get 5 here which is from the third row I will control Z to go back to this arrangement so if you are looking uh, for an exact match and Excel cannot find the lookup value it would return an error now let me show you how approximate match works a condition for approximate match to work is that the data should be sorted in the ascending order so here you can see that apple banana and orange if you look alphabetically these are actually sorted in an ascending order so let me show you how this works I type H lookup my lookup value here is again B and I expect to find a value here because I'm using an approximate match the table array is this entire array row index number I use 3 and instead of false I need to use true so let me drag and this is the range lookup I would type 1 instead of 0 or I can manually type true and I hit control enter and you can see that this returns 5 because while it's looking for this alphabet B here it scans this row and it sees that Apple is not a match Apple is also in terms of uh, alphabetically Apple is also lower than uh, capital B and it goes to banana and it sees that banana is greater than that so it reverts back to Apple and returns the value corresponding to Apple here so this is how proximate match works the first condition is that the data should be sorted in an ascending order and then it would look for the value if it cannot find a value 
uh, it would look for the largest value which is just lower than the lookup value and return the value against it. In case it finds an exact match, then it would return that. So for example here, instead of banana, if I make it B, you will see that the value ch will change. So here it gives 1.2 which, which corresponds to this value. Let me control Z. Now this is an example where I have uh, showed you how to do it when we have uh, a word or an alphabet. You can also do this with a number. So here for example I am looking for 14 and the array I would change this array to only these numbers because it would anyways give me an error uh, because these are alphabets or words. Uh, in this B, B3 to B4 I am looking for uh, 14 I want the value to be returned from the second row and I'm using approximate match. Let me hit enter. You can see it gives me 2.1. The reason here is that it is not sorted in an ascending order and therefore it's giving me a wrong answer. So it scans till the end of this. Since it cannot find 14, it finds the last one and returns this value. But see what happens if I make this 15. I hit enter and this gives me 1.2. The reason is that now this top row is sorted in an ascending order and then it is looking for 14. So it goes here, this is less than 14, so it jumps up, it goes here. It again sees that this is less than 14, so it goes here and it finds that 15 is greater than 14. So it goes back to the last value which is with, so it goes back to the last value which is smaller than the lookup value which is 12 and it returns the value against 12 from the second row. So this is how HLOOKUP approximate works. Uh, I hope you found this useful. Thank you and have a nice day.